That's you and me. That's it. Ended the video with a booty flying to my arm. No, that's when you were a baby. Buddy gives physics lessons on the true nature of reality. I'm confused. Oh, <laughs> you're trying to go in. <laughs> Trying to go inside the TV, which is real, which is fiction. See, this is fake news. <clears throat> you don't know the difference between what's reality and what's fiction. <laughs> this is what the governments of the politicians lying to the budgies for. They don't know the difference between reality and fiction. Humans are the same. They don't know the difference either between what's real and what's not. For decades, politicians have been lying about everything. So now no one knows what's real and what's not real. That's how Trump gets elected. Because there is no truth anymore. George Orwell knew what was coming. <clears throat> there is no longer any truth. There never was. It was all fiction. A story. The buddies understand it now. You got a taste of it. The buddies don't know what's real and what's not. Eh? Nothing is real. Nothing is real. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So the buddies not real? No. If you could look at this budgie, really look at it, it would be transparent. The only thing that gives it a form is light bouncing off atoms. Light hits the atoms and it bounces off. This is real physics, real reality. This is rea the nature of reality. Light bouncing off atoms. Where the atomic weight determines the colour and the wavelength of the light determines the colour. And what gives budgies substance, i.e. that you can hold them, is the electromagnetism. The electrons repel. The electrons in my finger, my thumb, repelling the electrons in the TV, otherwise it will go straight through. That's the true nature of reality. If you could see it properly, it would all be transparent because most of it is empty space. Most of atom is empty space. So reality would be completely transparent. Light gives it by bouncing off, photons bouncing off which are packets of energy bouncing off atoms and that's where that's the true nature of reality this is electromagnetism the hand is not going through this because of electrons isn't it so buddy now you know more physics more about the nature of reality than all the religious books put together. Done. Done. You know more about reality. This budgie is sitting on my finger due to electromagnetism. The electrons. Oh, the blue budgie nearly went into the TV then. See, that is one reality. This is another. You should do a YouTube video on the true nature of reality. Isn't it, Liza? Yeah. Anyway, as far as buddies are concerned, it's all real, isn't it?
What did you buy for the blue budget, eh? For Valentine's. Which is real, which is fiction. You. All of this has been watched on YouTube. Oh, what the? So which, are these real? Or are these two real? Confusing, isn't it? Yes. If I know it's real. The nature of reality. I know it's not real. Photons, elect electromagnetism. And empty space. A lot of empty space and time. Yeah, you're watching this as frames. That is time. Everything is a frame in time, including gravity. Gravity is basically time. It doesn't, it's not gravity that warps time, it's time that creates gravity, see, you didn't learn that in your physics class, time creates gravity and the scientists, physicists call it time dilation, so everything falls through time, literally. We are falling through time towards the center of the earth at nine point something milliseconds. We are all falling towards earth through time. Time creates gravity. See? This should be a physics lesson. An advanced physics you've learnt about electromagnetism. Electromagnetism, you learnt about empty space, space, photons, you learnt about that gravity is basically, time creates gravity, because everything is falling through time, at the speed of light, there's some, another little mind bender for you, we are all travelling at the speed of light through time, Everything in the universe, including this budgie, is travelling at the speed of light. Through time. And that's what creates the gravity. Because time, because time is relative, as Einstein said. Which means, that no matter what speed you're going, to you, it seems it is now, but, but when you look at someone else at a different speed, they might be seem like they're going faster or slower, but to each, each atom, now is now, if you get that. And when the budgie flies, yeah, you think it's going faster than you, but relative to it, it is going at the same speed. So everything's moving at the same speed in relative terms. Am I making sense? Everything is traveling at the. Oh, look at the budgie, see? Trying to go into the TV. Everything is traveling at the same speed which is the speed of light so through the, time. So the moon and the sun is doing the same thing. Ah. Yeah, because it's relative. So when the sun goes night and when the sun goes up. It's like the earth, I don't know, it's traveling around, was it? 10,000 kilometers per second. But you don't feel it because it's constant velocity. What you feel is acceleration and deceleration. That's the what you will actually feel. If the Earth was accelerating, you would know about it. We start to be lots of earthquakes because it's constant velocity. You don't notice it, but we're traveling. I don't know. I'm thinking about ten thousand kilometers per second. 
The Earth through space is traveling at around 10,000 kilometers per second. And you don't notice it because it's constant velocity. And even more, the solar system is traveling around the galaxy. I don't know how fast, but it's more than 10,000 kilometers a second. Okay. And you don't feel that. And even more, the galaxy is traveling at least 50,000. I don't know how fast it's traveling, but it's traveling through space itself. So you've got the Earth traveling around the Sun at about 10,000 kilometers a second. You've got the solar system traveling around the galaxy in its arm. I don't know how fast it's going. And then you've got the galaxy traveling through space. None of which you feel because it's constant velocity. Anyway, enough of this physics. We're getting detached from the budgies. Isn't it? I've gone off on a tangent on the nature of reality. See the budgies flying through the to this reality. They can't tell the difference between yeah, the electrons and protons are mostly atoms are mostly empty space. If you if light behaved slightly differently, everything would be transparent. You would not see anything because the true nature of reality is empty space. You are, Liza, you are mostly, you are, I don't know, one one thousandth of you is matter, the rest is empty space. But you look physical. Wait, what? Because of the photon bouncing off the atoms and reflecting back to your eyes. So that's the end of this physics lesson. Now you understand more than your physics teachers will teach you at, at least GCSE, maybe A level. What? What were you watching? Kissing where? Come on, would you like to end this video properly? Try it to my arm. That's it, we've ended the video properly with a buddy flying to my arm. No, that's when you were a baby. Buddy gives physics lessons on the true nature of reality. See, I'm not just a fat potato man. I know what I'm talking about. If you want to get rich, invest in AI and quantum computing. <laughs>